Hi, welcome to this week's Midweek Connection. My name is Todd Jordan. I serve as senior pastor here at Strawbridge United Methodist Church. I'm delighted that you've joined me. In Luke's Gospel, the fourth chapter, Jesus preaches his first sermon. And in it, uh, he's reading from Isaiah, and he says this, uh, beginning in verse 18, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And then Luke says, he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And then he said, today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. In other words, I'm the guy Isaiah is talking about. That was a bold claim, uh, led to him getting into some trouble of, over that, but uh, he was right. Um, he is the fulfillment of the scriptures. And um, part of his messianic responsibility is ushering in um, the kingdom of God. And part of God's kingdom uh, includes release to the captives, um, letting the oppressed go free. And so the church took that to understand that we care for all people, um, certainly the oppressed, but also the imprisoned, even people who are imprisoned for things that they did, who, who are being uh, punished for uh, crimes. Um, the church has always felt like uh, we are to serve everybody. In fact, John Wesley, back in the 17th hundreds, um, the first recording that we have, uh, or first record, written record, of John Wesley being referred to as a Methodist, um, and again, it was a derogatory term, he was being criticized for it, was when uh, John Wesley um, gained some degree of notoriety um, in defending someone who is on death row. Uh, he advocated for this person and fought for this person. And part of the early Methodist outreach was to people in prison uh, for whatever reason they were there uh, to care for them, to make sure they were provided for and prison ministry has been a part of um, our history as Christians, certainly our history as Methodists. Well, I want to invite you to pray about something. We still have prison ministry that happens today, certainly. And in Texas, that's a big deal because we've got a, a lot of prisons near where we are. Well, there is a prison ministry called Kairos that I wanted to talk about this week. Uh, Kairos, um, the, the, the Greek word um, is from uh, the word for for God's time. And um, Kairos is a Christian organization that is worldwide. It's uh, in 37 states and nine countries. There are 600 Kairos weekends held uh, a year throughout the world. Um, there are 46 units within Texas alone um, that have a Kairos program. And the goal is to create Christian community in prison. And so volunteers uh, from the church go into prisons, spend a weekend uh, with the prisoners, whom they refer to, by the way, as brothers in white, to raise up leaders uh, that will then form Christian groups within prison. Um, and sometimes those uh, prisoners um, will, will get out when they've served their term. Others are there for life. Um, nonetheless, uh, we want Jesus uh, to be present in the prison because we know Christ is present where all are. So, um, so a Kairos weekend, it's very similar to Emmaus, for those of you familiar with the walk to Emmaus. And they'll go into a prison that it will include 42 brothers in white plus volunteers. And um, there's, there's prayer and share time. Um, there's music, testimony, small group time. Uh, Kairos is a life-changing event um, for, for those that... Um, that are a part of it in the prison system and for those that, that volunteer and help with it. In fact, um, we're looking to put together um, 
uh, volunteers that would be willing to serve on Kairos weekends. Um, we're, there will be a Kairos weekend nearby. The next walk uh, is on November 2nd through the 5th, and I'm planning on going to that. So I want to encourage you um, to pray about, um, is God calling you to some form of prison ministry? And if so, would is God calling you to be a part of the Kairos program? If you want to know more, contact the church office. We'd lo love to uh, connect you with some folks that can answer your questions, talk to you about it. Also in worship, uh, after worship rather this Sunday, we'll have a sign up table in the narthex where you can uh, get more information, ask questions or sign up to be a part of it. Um, volunteers are needed uh, outside the prison as well as those to go inside the prison. So just want you to pray about, uh, is this a ministry that, that um, is tugging on your heart? Is God calling you maybe even just to find out more about it? Um, and if not here, um, is there some other ministry that God is calling you on? Um, I want to just encourage all of our members uh, to engage in um, a relationship with God that includes re regular devotional scripture, prayer, uh, corporate worship, and that sort of thing. Um, but also, how is God calling you to serve? Uh, inside the church walls, outside the church walls, and maybe even inside our prisons. Thank you. May God bless you. And I look forward to seeing you in worship this Sunday.